Yes, and welcome back to the much-awaited season three of Book Jeopardy here on the Library of Alexandria. If you will remember, we just finished the second round of the Champion of Champions round, where Sarah brutally, on the buzzer, took the second spot in the Champion of Champion of Champions round, where she will face off in January against Jesse. The Bookish Mom. So this is season three, episode one, where these three are competing for a spot in the third and final Champion of Champions round to have the opportunity to be that third spot in the Champion of Champion of Champions round in January. And these three guests are fantastic. You have been waiting for it all month, guys. Six weeks. It's the longest we've been without a book Jeopardy. So I'm nervous and ill. Um, I am still sick, but I will do my best to provide the trivia content that you are here waiting for that 50 of you currently are watching live that's freaking awesome don't tell us that <laughs> so yeah, no one's watching this right it's actually i have we got jake bishop jimmy nuts and liana's library all three of whom are amazing and if you're not subscribed to them you definitely should be but i'll let them introduce themselves and their channel right now jake go ahead my name is jake bishop i have the incredibly creative channel name of jake bishop <laughs> and i like to read books and sometimes talk about them Jimmy Nuts? Hopefully I don't lose. Uh, I'm Jimmy Nuts from the Fantasy Network. Um, I am, uh, you know, a serial book reader, I guess you would say. And Alan has been on my channel for about 16 hours, I think, uh, for my podcast <laughs> total. And uh, I'm happy to be here and I'm happy uh, to give my best. So Nice. Liana? I am Alan's nemesis. So this is the only time that you'll get an introduction to my channel for him that is neutral. Um <laughs> And uh, I'm currently trying not to puke because I'm not competitive, but I'm very nervous about this for some reason. I'm so also weirdly nervous. Like it doesn't even matter what happens. I know and yet it I'm still nervous. I don't even care about winning things, things. And I'm just like, I don't, I just I think don't want to lose. What I'm anxious about though. And I've like always been anxious about, I mean, I'm used to it now, but the first time I did a live, I was like, what if the camera like glitches? What if like something goes wrong? And I already had my camera lose. glitch today. What if the buzzer goes wrong? Then what if lose. like, that is what will happen. You will not win. That's all. But I mean, it's, there's no stakes. There's literally no stakes. What if I get an Abercrombie question wrong? <laughs> then I, we will all point to laugh at you and judge you for eternity. You I promise you, you will. Just go ahead and prep. Go ahead. You know why I'm nervous is because of people have told me that they're like betting on me. And I'm like, don't bet on me. I'm going to oh, lose. So, yeah, fortunately, I, I, so I'm the most active in Alex's Discord, Alex's Discord. And they're all like, yeah, I'm cheering for Jimmy. And I'm just like, okay, that's not very much pressure. Again, you didn't even say the name of your channel. It's it, right it's right there. It's on the All right. So, guys, we're going to get this started. But first, Liana, in Klaus's prediction video, because Klaus does a prediction video for these every time, he has you as favored to win, but it's mostly because y'all don't like the same stuff. But he played a clip of a video where I was I was overly harsh toward you. And I want to Just apologize one video? for having been overly harsh in that video. Now, that, video. Being said, that being said, Let's go ahead and start the first round. Are y'all ready for the categories? Here we go. Oh, I have to flip, flip, flip. I always forget. <laughs> Take your time. It's fine. If this is Jeopardy. I'm just saying I've seen it done better. That's all. Whoa, whoa, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm saying with all the controversy about choosing a new host, I feel like why haven't they reached out to Alan? Um, they they didn't know, what, know about you know him. for that Jake you get to you get to go first I'm not even gonna random it you're gonna go first. <laughs> here are the categories we're already biased <laughs> okay you can choose from these fantastic categories Jake here we go first person quotes I will give you a quote related to a first a book that is written in the first person alternate titles Red Rising classifieds these will be characters from Red Rising from the first book, all these characters are in the first book who have put out a personals ad in the newspaper. And you will have to tell me whose personal ad it is. So we have to get the characters like full name or just like their No, name? you just have to get the characters. Oh, name. no. Also, <laughs> Liana's bad takes. Is oh, <laughs> hey, doesn't Liana have an inherent advantage in that category? No, I don't have bad takes, so I won't know any of these answers. Followed oh, by... Famous first lines, and then, ugh, and then fun and games, fun and games. 
Jake, the board is yours. You Wait, what is fun in games? Who knows? Well, I'm going to be a man of the people and just try and make it as to ent- to entertaining as possible and take Liana's bad takes for a thousand. Yes, what a good choice to start the round. <laughs> Liana's bad takes, here we go. Content, people, content. All right. Remember, do not buzz in until I'm done with the question. Due to her well-known hatred for coming-of-age tales and all things Celtic, this battlefield debut of Truth and Courage received a big fat one star. Uh, Jimmy Nuts. What is Malice by that John? That is correct. Wayne? Malice. Jimmy Nuts is on the board. Let's go. Did Liana not buzz there because she I wasn't willing to say it was a bad take? All right, Jimmy. You you may now choose the category. Oh, you were raised two hundred instead of a thousand. Oh. Whoops. Was that the 200 200 question? Was that the thousand? It was the 200 question. Sorry. Oh, I'll take 200. It's no wonder I got it wrong. I would have gotten it if it was a thousand. All right. Um, I'll take fun and games for 400. All right. Fun and games for four for 400. Who's why are you going to be that? Like how Alan's like, here, Jake, have a spot that ignores fun and games for 400. Here we go. Nine Kings is a Magic the Gathering-esque card game also used for divination in this Luminous series. Nine Kings is a Magic the Gathering-esque card game also used for divination in this Luminous series. Terrible pick, Jimmy. Why'd you pick that one? I feel like I should know this. (laughs) Leanna? What is the Lightbringer series? That's correct. Lightbringer is correct. Nicely done. Oh, yeah. Nicely done. Never read it. I haven't either. It's just luminous. I know you put clues in the questions. Boom. Get it. I totally forgot that was a thing. Anyways. All right. I get to pick now. Jesus. Okay. Hmm. Um, Red Rising classifieds for 200, please. Remember, I'm going to read you a classified ad. Oh, and you're going to. Do we need to reset? Is... Oh, thank you. And you're going to tell me whose ad this is. Um, for everyone watching at home, I apologize. This category will at times be rated PG-13. <laughs> so I apologize in advance for How any dare you, Alan? for any pearl clutching content that may be here. All right, here we go. Wait till <laughs> I'm done. Widower seeks caretaker of only good child's grave. Must never mention other two disgraceful children non-negotiable. Uh, Leanna. Um, uh, who is Nero? Nero is correct. Nero is correct. I read those books like two months ago. I don't remember anything. <laughs> I, yeah, yes. I read them before Jimmy did. And anyways. Um, uh, once you reset us, I'll be ready to choose... Oh, wow. Salt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, okay. oh, stop shaking it. I forgot what they were. Oh, alternate titles for 200, please. Alternate titles. Okay, guys. So I'm going to give you, if you're not familiar with this fan favorite, I'm going to give you the title of the book. That is not the title of the book, but you have to figure out what book I'm talking about. From is it, time. wait, is it going to be like the same number of words or like, it's just like, a... you know, just answer the question. I want to know if like that's part of it that I need to have another title that has the same number of words. Here we go. (laughs) A mound or ridge of sand or other loose sediment formed by the wind. Uh, Leanna. What is Dune? Dune is correct. Ah, that's a good one. Damn. All right, that's a a long night, boys. You're up, Leanna. It's gonna be all right, Jimmy. I'm still so nervous. Jimmy, you're on the board. That's all that matters. My mic looks great. Yeah, it does. Um, famous first lines, please. Famous for 200. First lines for 200. We're all over the place, ladies and gentlemen. I Here figured try each of them out and see how they are. Famous first lines. <laughs> I would have lived in peace, but my enemies brought me war. Uh, Leanna? What is Red Rising? I'm over it, Leanna. <laughs> Can we get off this Red Rising crap? Can we just move on? <laughs> Jimmy, you read them recently. They weren't that good. They were that's, a, that's an iconic first line. You, yeah. You read them recently, Jimmy. Yeah, that, that's it's it's a good series. All right. Um uh, uh first person quotes for 200, please. All right, first person quotes. Here we go. This is written in first person. 
the title character of this long running series, I am always looking for a series name here, ladies and gentlemen. The title character of this long running series says, as far as I know, I'm the only practicing professional wizard in the country. You can find me in the yellow pages under wizards. Believe it or not, I'm the only one there. What is Leanna? this world? No, it's not right. Jake, what is the Dresden Files by yes. Jim Butcher? Okay, I thought it was yes. this world. I'm glad that you got it second. Even though I just I was could literally could not have been more I, sure about I that. I thought that was a shoe-in, but I didn't think of this world. Leanna, that is a that is an easy mistake to make. I forgot that that I, uh, oh. well yeah. try reading the series an unreasonable amount of times yeah. and then you won't make the mistake. All right. That's all right, that's all right. Jake, the board's yours. Okay, this time I'm picking the same thing I picked last time. Leanna's hot bad takes for a thousand, yeah. Alan. Mm. For, oh, for a thousand, sorry. Yeah. Not two hundred. All right, for a thousand. I got it. I got it. I got it. Is this gonna be, are they like uh increasingly bad takes? Like I don't know. I don't they know. should be increasing. Like thousand is like the worst. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Fencing is awesome says literally everyone except Leanna, who found this swashbuckling first book of justice and fashion worthy of a single paltry star. Jake. What is Trader's Blade? That is correct. Yes. Uh, I've Leanna's that. Bad Takes, easily my favorite category. <laughs> Leanna's Bad Takes, 800. There we go. More bad takes. All right. Here we go. With a staggering 4.6 average on Goodreads, <laughs> 360,000 ratings, her callously one-starring of this Sanderson series opener earned her a place in the canon as patron, patron saint of hipsters. Jimmy Nuts. What is the Wave Kings? That is correct. Let's go, baby. That's correct. I knew it would be one of them. I knew it. <laughs> Your, your turn, Jimmy. Okay. Uh, we're certainly not going nowhere near the Red Rising. Do you, want um, to go, do you want to continue the bad takes? It's the best category. No, I want to do alternate titles for 800. All right, alternate Jimmy. Why 800? Would I be no, mad no. if I don't get a single thing in the Leanna's bad takes one? Because you guys are so fast on the... All right. We watch a lot your of bad stuff. takes are too iconic. All right, here yeah. we go. Alternate titles. The Unkind... Edling, the unkind Edling, the unkind Edling. Edling. I don't know what the word Edling. What is edling? Yeah, I, I don't know. What edling is. is a is a is a fun Welsh word that means prince. It's the cruel prince. The cruel prince. Is I've never even heard of that book. Who's that uh, by? It's I would like to voice Holly a complaint. Black. I was made to understand that all of the questions would be in English. It was. Edling is an English word that comes from a Welsh word. Just I think it. it's Latin. I've never even heard of that book. So, it's Do I pick black. again? Yeah, it's your turn still. No well, let's do alternate titles for 1,000 since that went so well. Content. See, Jimmy, this is what we like. Picking the high numbers. Alternate, con alternate titles always does poorly, Jimmy. No one ever gets it. That's why I Good. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> I got one. All right. Here we go. The 10 cubed monikers. The 10 to the third power monikers. The 10 cubed monikers. I should have brought a dictionary. Uh, I think this is the Wexler book. Um, I don't know. Jimmy Nuts? 10,000 names? What is I'm trying to think names? correct. Try to think correct. I, I'm trying to think. What's that? What? Eh, I won't Google anything. Boop, boop, boop. It is the thousand names. Oh, what did I say? Ten thousand? Yeah, the thousand. So my my yeah. question at this point is: Does Jimmy understand no Jeopardy well enough to know that he just lost a thousand points? Yeah, that's fine. Jimmy's oh, fine. I did. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, really if you're bad. wrong. You lose yeah, the points. Yeah. It. yeah, it's okay. You're all right. Okay, it's all a right. betting all game. Right. Am um, I at negative uh, four hundred? Is no, that yeah. you still have two hundred? You have twelve hundred? You have thousand? Wow, I'm rich. Just so everyone knows, guys, I ask a thousand name question in every game. People in the comments, y'all know, and every time I'm like. Someone's going to get this eventually because I ask it every time. That's all true. Jimmy. I'm devastated. Still you. You're all right, Jimmy. You're going to survive. Um, I don't know. Trust um, me. This what's is not the, a high-scoring round, weirdly. What's, the, what's that first column next That's to That's first-person quotes. Let's do first-person quotes for 400. All right. First-person quotes for 400. Here we go. Boop, 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 boop,
Jimmy, only you get to answer this question, and okay. you can wager up to a thousand. You have two hundred, but you can wager up to a thousand. You can win that thousand back. If he gives up, can we guess for fun? Just no. asking. No. <laughs> no, there's no fun to be had here. But people are asking how I don't know how Jeopardy. I didn't watch it. I'm Jimmy not... didn't watch Jeopardy. Yeah. Jimmy, yes. I was lifting weights. I don't know what Jeopardy even is. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy beat up people who watch Jeopardy. <laughs> exactly. I said, why are you speaking in riddles? Stop it. <laughs> Jimmy. What Jimmy. is, why are you speaking in riddles? <laughs> How much you want to wager? You can wager up to a thousand. But I'll go negative then. If you did it wrong. Yeah, right. you know right. what? We'll wager a thousand because right. I think I'm playing the heel this episode. Jimmy, so. Yeah, call Jeff. Thank, thank you. Go, Jimmy. Yes. Everyone thanks. wagers a hundred like they're playing for real money. Here we go, Jimmy. The narrator of this series of this series boasts I tread paths by moonlight that others fear to speak of during day. I have talked to gods, loved women's women's, loved women and written songs that make minstrels weep. Who is Kothi? Remember I'm looking for the series. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, King's Killer Chronicles? Yes, that is correct. Good, right, good, good. Yeah. That is correct. Back on the board. Twelve. See, you don't even know. You don't even need to know about this game to win it. It's this easy. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like there are questions that y'all can answer. I promise. Jimmy, it's back to you, bud. I'm the antagonist today. This is fun. Uh, let's go fun and games for 200 to give everyone a shot. Fun and games yeah. for 200. Here we go. Here we go. Hmm. This set of tarot-like cards play an important though mysterious role tied to the ascendance in the world of Malazan. Jake? What is the Deck of Dragons? Deck of Dragons is correct. This is a very close game. I'm actually... Super I was hard. reading chat and definitely missed half that question. Jimmy. I was seeing if I got you, anything. You must ignore them. They are there to... They are there to, to Alan, move. those are your beloved... I mean, viewers. I couldn't ignore the person that was expressing sympathy for me. I appreciate you. What? I'm what? not even reading chat. What's sympathy? By my buzzer, so What's I sympathy? can't see you all booing or cheering for me. For that what? I'm nervous and that I'm being relentlessly hackled with this category. We haven't been in that category in four questions, Leanna. The sympathy was some. I didn't. Ago. I didn't pick it. So. Uh, okay. Speaking. Of, let's go. First person quotes for six hundred. First person quotes for six hundred. Here we go. Remember, I apologized at the beginning of this episode. <laughs> I had to earn some goodwill back before this category. All right, we have to do the series name, right? Yes, the series name. Here we go. Um, no, I look at the comments, but I know the questions. Evil is relative. You can't hang a sign on it. You can't touch it or taste it or cut it with a sword. Evil depends on who, on where you're standing, pointing your indicting finger, writes the historian of this ebon band of men. Leanna? What is the Black Company? That's correct. Black Company's correct. That I was, was like, I thought that was the name of the series company. for a second, and I was like, yeah, oh, that's, that's the first book. Yeah. That's a good quote. Yeah, yeah, it was a very good quote. It's not, it's not a fantastic book, but it's a good quote. Um, the series is better than, than the individual books. Um, Stop waggling it. I can't see. Uh, let's do um, Red Rising Classifieds for 400, please. All right. Can you reset us, please? Red Rising Classifieds. Remember, you're going to name the character when I'm done. Heartbroken Orpheus seeks, a re seeks no replacement for lost Eurydice, yet this Byron yearns for his Shelleys to help nurse Homeric grudge. I have no idea what's going Leanna? on. Leanna? Who is Darrow? Not Darrow. That's incorrect. I'll read it again. Were those words? I, th I think it was in English. Heartbroken Orpheus seeks no replacement for lost Eurydice, yet this Byron yearns for his Shelleys to help nurse Homeric grudge. Jake? Who is Cassius? It is not Cassius. Oh, I was just God. guessing that they were- I think I know it, but I can't working. go again, right? I was They're guessing. Not. I wasn't actually sure. I'm not even gonna take a shot. I have no idea. I was dumb of me to take a shot. I was like, not sure. Boop, boop, boop. All of those were poetry references. Can I say what I think it is? It is Roach. Yeah. It is Roach. Uh, Who? Oh. You mean Roach. The poet, Roach, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah it's the poet they were all poet references oh man. yeah I, jimmy your your reticence your judicious use of the buzzer 
has now put you in the lead. We'll see. This is what happens. <laughs> Leanna, your, your choice. Oh, yes. No one got it, huh? Um, let's do Red Rising again for 600. I'm all just right. not guessing for these. I'll Guys, wrong. look, I love this category. Y'all can hate it all you want. All I right. like it, too. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry in advance. Here we go. Jake, who is Severo? That is correct. I didn't know you were done. I thought that was. I thought it was a daily double or something. I... <laughs> that's so, that's a really good one, Alan. That's a hilarious. That was not in English, by the way. Severo, but I was like, wait, that's the intro, and then he's gonna like say the thing. <laughs> he started going like bow which wow, and I was like, wait, is that Severo? And then he's like, oh, and I'm like, oh, wait, so well, how would bow chicka bow wow? I don't know. That's Whatever. Sad. That's the universally acknowledged sex music. It's true. It is? It is, yeah. You're the only one who didn't Look, know that. I don't Literally know, everyone I, else I don't, did. I don't know what to tell you. That's what Severo wrote. I didn't write I'm these. waiting for my second marriage. Look, so. I, I didn't write these. I got it from <laughs> – look, I got it from the classifieds. Jake, your choice. Uh, Leanna's bad take, 600. Yes. All right. Here we go. In this objectively five-star book – <laughs> a dragon has been loosed by would-be tyrants, and it's up to the incompetent coppers to save the day, a hilarious and heartfelt setup that was deemed worthy of a mere three stars. Jake? What is guards, guards? That is correct. You are so fast. That is correct. Huh. I'd like to thank my 144 hertz monitor um, for these victories. <laughs> guards, guards. Here we go. Leanna's bad takes 400. All right, Leanna's bad. <laughs> Just wiping the category. Last out. one. This is the last one, Leanna. Then your your punishment is over. <laughs> <laughs> Rock and roll, D and D, over the hill, Mercs, hot takes. Care not for these things. A good time quest romp. One star. Jimmy, I knew, I knew it. what is Kings of the Wild? That is correct. Kings of the Wild. Oh, How I don't. I'm so much I don't, faster. Don't, I don't actually love Kings of the Wild, Leanna. So I I've only have a chance at this game if I know it and you don't, so I can buzz in. But anytime we all buzz in, I am always last. You were actually faster than me that time. I'm very used to Alan's cadence from talking first. to him so much that I know when he's going to end a sentence. Yeah, that's I mean, that's the different. Dresden one was good because I knew exactly where the sentence was going to end, right, and I was guys. still slower than both all of right. you. All right, so that Leanna category is over. And look, regardless of whether or not you, if you knew Leanna liked it or not, there's enough information in there to, to tell you what the book is. That's the thing. I'm not going to, not going to, not going to cheat or hamstring people. Jimmy, All right. your choice. We'll go fun and games for 1,000. Fun and games for a thou. Fun and games for I think a Jimmy thou. thinks he's the host with that voice. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> he thinks it's chatting with nuts. Here we go. Here we go. It's just how I am. This, in this Hnefetafel, a.k.a. Viking chess-inspired board game, Pratchett pits dwarves against trolls in the book that shares its onomatopoeia name. In the book that shares its onomatopoeia name. Yeah, only Discworld I've read is Mort, so. <laughs> Same. <laughs> well, Which is a one. shame. But... Don't buzz in and guess that. Don't buzz in. What what onomatopoeia is mort? Is that the sound of someone dying? Mort. I guess. Boop, boop, boop. The answer is thud. 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 Not a very good title, Alan. Come on. I didn't name the book. Yeah, you support everything Pratchett by default, so. That's true. All right, Jimmy. I think we're going to slide away from fun and games. Um, <laughs> to famous first lines for 400. Famous first lines for 400. Right, right All right, back. Here we go. All right, here we go. Got the hot hand. Let's go. The hegemony console sat on the balcony of his ebony spaceship and played Rachmaninoff's prelude in C step mi in C C something minor. I can't read. Um, in C sharp minor on an ancient but well maintained Steinway, while great green saurian things surged and bellowed in the swamps below. Jimmy nuts. What is Hyperion? That is correct. It is Hyperion. Phenomenal okay. book. Man, the way they included I can't read in that first line was a little bit clunky. I don't know how the editor didn't catch that. Is, that. that I, know, I don't know how they didn't catch that. Sorry, I can't read my handwriting. It's too well. Uh, Jimmy Nuts? Um, let's go with famous first lines for 600. All right, here we go. Mr. Jones of the Manor Farm had locked the hen houses for the night, but was too drunk to remember to shut the pop holes. 
Mr. Jones of the Manor Farm had locked the hen houses for the night, but was too drunk to remember to shut the pop holes. Yeah, saying it twice isn't going to change that I haven't read that book. Sometimes people know. Sometimes it helps. This is the most hostile contestant group I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, I've never seen. Such Leanna has been very peaceful. I, I, yeah, I've been hostile though. She has. I, I, I've definitely been playing the heel, but as it's... usual, the hostility is only one way. Yeah, from you to me. <laughs> Boop, boop, boop. The answer is Animal Farm by George. I literally Tom. almost I jokingly said that. that. I know, uh, same. But I didn't want to risk Sometimes, my point. Like, Animal Farm? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jimmy, you're still up. Control the board. Low uh, scoring round. Let's go um, famous first lines for 1,000. I'm going to skip 800 and go for the uh, the four digits here. This is my favorite of the famous first oh, lines. God. Mine too. Is it Discworld? Yeah, oh, you just get ready. Here we go. This is inexcusable what I'm about to read to you. Inexcusable. <laughs> I need to read it closely. Among other public buildings in a certain town, which for many reasons it will be prudent to refrain from mentioning, and to which I will assign no fictitious name, there is one anciently common to most towns, great or small, to wit, a workhouse. And in this workhouse was born on a day and date, which I need not trouble myself to repeat in as much as it can be of no possible consequence to the reader in this stage of business at all events, the item of mortality whose name is prefixed to the head of this chapter. It's a literal, inexcusable first line to the first period. Is it McCarthy? <laughs> inexcusable. Yeah, what the hell I have is guesses, that? but I mean, I can't say that out loud. It's but... for a thousand if you want to risk it. Leanne. No, I do not. Thank I'm good. You. Boop, boop, boop. The answer is Oliver Twist yep. by that twit Charles Dickens, who was paid by the word, and it shows. I was like, that has to be Dickens, and there was like only a few I could think of that had a workhouse. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Jimmy, keep it going. <laughs> Famous first lines for 800. All right, here we go. Famous first lines for eight. Bringing it back. Both moons were high, dimming the light of all but the brightest stars. Jake. What is Tigana by Guy that's Gabriel Kay? A fantastic great. book that Jimmy should read. And I think Leanna's reading. Are right you now. enjoying it, Leanna? Um, I think I am going to enjoy it now that I've realized that I don't think the audiobook narrator is for me. Oh, gotcha. gotcha. What's the score, by the way? Un momento, por favor. The current score, okay. well, I'll tell you in a minute. We're almost done with the round. Okay. I, I was going to the, the heel route because I thought I'd lose terribly, and it's always fun to have a it's bad actually guy very, It's actually very close, Jimmy. It's still very close. Okay, game. good. Jake, you get to choose. Uh, first person quotes 800. First person quotes 800. Here we go. First person quotes 800. We named the series. You named the series. Oh my gosh. It's not light. It's not. I got, guys, I got to turn on the freaking lights in my room. Like, I can't see. All right, there we go. All right. The famously unreliable narrator of this, of this science fantasy opus says, I have never had much need for companionship unless it was the companionship of someone I could call a friend. Certainly, I have seldom wished the conversation of strangers or the sight of strange faces. I believe, rather, that when I was alone, I felt I had so in some fashion lost my individuality. I feel like I probably... I'm not risking it. I, I feel like it. I know this, but I don't want to risk it. It is for 800, if you would like to risk it. Mm. I'll read it one more time and you can decide. The famously the famously go unreliable quickly, quickly, narrator of this science fantasy opus says, I have never had much need for companionship unless it was the companionship of someone I could call a friend. Certainly, I have seldom wished the conversation of strangers or the sight of strange faces. I believe rather that when I was alone, I felt I had in some fashion lost my individuality. The crowd says go for it. I'm now less sure I know. I know, I'm listening. I thought I knew. Right. And I was, I was like, like 50 and now I'm like 20. Can I go look at a book? That nope. I'll go for it. The answer is Book of the New Sun. Oh, that's what it was. was. Like, damn damn it. it. That was not what I was going to say. So I'm glad it died. Right. Here we go. Dylan, I let you down by not reading that. If you're yeah, watching, you know. The the bold. Um, who's that? Is it? Oh, yeah, it's me. Uh, same category for a thousand. All right. First same category for a thousand. Here you go, guys. The author said of writing this beginning trilogy. I think myself cured of all spite, but when I touch pen to paper, the hurt of a boy bleeds out with sea spawned ink until I suspect each carefully formed black letter scabs over some ancient scarlet wound. 
We're looking for the series. The series. Jake. What is the Farseer trilogy? That's correct. That's correct. Yes. That's what Robin Hobbs said. Yeah, that was you a just missed line. a Fitz quote, that is Jimmy. A really, Shame on you. That is a really yeah. good line. That is a great, great yeah. line. Yeah. That's that's what made me sure. I was like, this sounds like Fitz. And then I'm like, this is really good. Oh, yeah, that means it's Fitz. That's great. All right. So, Jake, hmm. continue. Um, We'll go alternate titles 400. Farseer trilogy is a series. Yeah, it absolutely is. Although I'm assuming you would have also accepted Realm of the Elder Rings. Yeah, I mean, I probably would have accepted that as well. Would you say I alternate mean, titles 400? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because it started the... But I mean, I knew it was in Farseer. Yeah. So. All right, here we go. I like this one. Oh, Jake's so smart. It would have been funny if it was from Tawny Man and I was wrong because of that. That would have been a bit embarrassing. Here we go. Burgling of Blades. Burgling of Blades. Oh, Jake. What is Theft of Swords? That's correct. It is yeah. Theft of Swords. I don't even know who wrote it, but I know Michael who J. Sullivan. Wrote it. Sullivan. Oh, yeah. All right. Continue, Jake. Dang it. Uh, alternate title 600. All right. Last AT, the, the last alternate title. Can you reset us? Oh, yes. Thank you, Lana. Skeletal Bishop. What? Oh, man, I should get this. Skeletal Bishop. Jimmy Nuts. What is Priest of Bones? That is correct. Priest of Bones. Uh, yeah, I thought it might be, but I don't actually know that there's Priest a book called of Priest of Bones. Bones. I have read that book too. <laughs> no, Jimmy, we have two categories left. Fun and Games mm. and Red Rising Classified. I'm terrible. Uh, they're, both they're both terrible. But uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll do trying. Fun and Games for 800. All right, Fun and Games. Jimmy, this, this is how is sure I am that I'm not is, going to get one. This is the most hostile contestant group. <laughs> Here we go. All right. This, this game of logic, played on a board with stones and capstones, is played throughout the world of King Killer. Of course, Quoth is awesome at it. <laughs> Leanna. What is Tack? Tack is correct. He does lose to the guy, at least, <laughs> who he teaches it to him. Only so, so he can get better and beat everybody else. Yeah, fair enough. Here, Leanna, games or Red Rising? Oh, let's do Red Rising a thousand. Yes, mm. a thousand. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. In advance, I'm going to move back. Shouting my own name in the weight room and the bedroom! <laughs> Leanna. Who is Ragnar? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Shit, Jake. no, now I have to guess someone. I thought it was... Uh... Jake? Remember... Um... And minus for both of you. Jimmy, I'll read it again. Remember, these are characters only from Red Rising, the first book. Shouting my own name in the weight room and the bedroom! You do um... not guess, but you can if you desire. No, I know. I'm Leanna, good. I want you to know when you said Ragnar and it was wrong, I felt pure dread. And but I think I know what it is now. I, 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 I can't remember. Okay. It is. should have just done that. I shouldn't have gone. Pax <sighs> Hal Telemannus. Oh. I, I, Ragnar would have been my guess had I buzzed in at all. Except at the beginning of the category, I said Red Rising only. But uh, Red Rising the book only? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yes, I was just thinking, book. yeah. I thought it was the first trilogy only. You have to admit the shouting makes you think Ragnar. Yes, right? all caps at all times. Is like Ragnar. he has the power of the big voice. That's that's. Chad is very disappointed in all three of us right now. That's okay. Well, okay. the it's first okay, one should try being There's better. There's still plenty so. of game left, and Jimmy Nuts, you know, holding strong. That's okay. Leanna, you want that last one? For Red Rising? Yeah. Try to grab some of this back. You got this, Lana. I believe in you. Lies. I did. You got a whole category just to shatter my confidence. Yeah, but you read the books and ranked them. I, I didn't get any of those because everyone else here is their trigger fingers way fast. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the training. Underrated genius looking for next big project. Must have deep pockets, live on the wild side, and love purple. Underrated genius looking for next big project. Must have deep pockets, live on the wild side, and love purple. Leanna. Who is Mickey? Mickey is correct. Mickey yes. is correct. Nice. It is a very close game, ladies and gentlemen. All right, and the last one of round one. The last one of round one. Here we go, guys. Can you reset us, please? This chess and battleship-like board game is favored by char characters like Tyrion in A Song of Ice and Fire. Jimmy Nuts. What is Cross? That is correct. 
That was the easiest question of the night. And I knew it would be on there. I was wondering what number you'd I knew what it was. I just forgot the name. It is exceptionally close. This is the closest it's ever been going into the second round. Jake is ahead with 3,400. What? Jimmy is close behind with 3,000. Leanna is close behind with 2,600. Guys, the lowest they're worth in the next round is 400 points. It's going to be a close game. It's going to be a squeaker. If I had known I lost points. So, guys, (laughs) go ahead and get your cold drink. Refresh yourselves. Leanna, exhale some of those words. You got this. Leanna, you got this. Don't be nervous. I I mean – Obviously, I do not. I'm last, but no, no, no. I need some hype in the chat. We need we need some flames in the chat. Man, you're biding this. your time. Don't be nervous. It's I'm just pissed at all the ones that I did know and then I didn't say. Yeah, you did know a couple. That you I knew I'd lose the Red Rising questions, but I didn't think I would lose that bad. I will <laughs> never forgive myself for Book of the New Sun. I haven't read it. I actually was wondering if that was said in Doom, but I didn't think it fit dune and i was like i don't think it's dune i didn't think it was red all right let's see what chat thinks of me how much did they believe there we go i said let's get some flunk let's go so guys oh go. yes klaus can't who are y'all, rooting for? Who are y'all rooting for in the uh in the chat guys like let's give give our contestants some love aren't they doing wait do we get points from the chat well so far you do not you're but... so mercenary jimmy <laughs> jimmy jimmy you're a wrestler you know you get morale points like yeah. the crowd either like yeah or you suck you suck. <laughs> this, you is suck. this is true. <laughs> Though I guess right now they're like having some square soft JRPG battle in the signs in the in the wrestling stands. Well, I tried to get them to go flames, but now we're getting peanuts, which I would assume is for me. So thank you all very much. Alan? I mean, yes, ma'am. Will there be any questions in the second round where I may need this? Because I'm really tired of holding it. You will <laughs> need it for, you'll need it for Final Jeopardy, but that's it. Oh, yeah, but I, I mean, there's not going to be anything where, like, calculations or, like... No, math is not here. <laughs> Dude, Leanna, you thought of everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is impressive. But it's also exhausting to, like, hang on to that in one yeah. hand and, like, the buzzer in the other. For sure, I, I imagine. <laughs> Leanna, what are you reading right now? Tagano. Oh, that's right. That's right. And you said the narrator's a little doo-doo butter, but... It's actually the same narrator as Dune. It has been a hot really? minute since I heard someone say doo doo butter, Jimmy. So well, we have it all in it's, stock. It's here. not okay. Like it's uh, spoilers for my patrons who I'm vlogging this for. Um, I like realized that like the style of the prose is a little bit arm's length, and the narrator is even more arm's length. He just sounds like he's like, like double arm's length, very encyclopedic, you know, in his reading of it. And it's mm-hmm. it's fine. It's just very formal and not emotive. That's and then not- because the the prose totally is already a little more formal. It. Then I feel like I don't feel anything while it's There's being not read the to right me. tone for Tigana. So yeah, I started reading it like the book book, and I was like, yeah, this is already more emotional than the way this guy's reading it. <laughs> Someone put two poop emojis in a stick of butter <laughs> for doo doo butter. <laughs> <sighs> that is classic, classic. Can we all just appreciate Alan for hosting this, by the way? Like the amount of work that goes into this is very impressive, Alan. It is. I like Alan, my uh, mom was a high school teacher and you, she used to do Jeopardy with her students. So she was very mm. excited to learn that you are a teacher who does Jeopardy. That's awesome. But she couldn't have done the prompt for uh, Severo. I, I hope she doesn't. You couldn't have done any of these prompts because she reads no fiction. But it's true. I hope she doesn't watch it and get mad because I'm. I bullied you. I apologize. For that. <laughs> there it is. He admitted it. My mom it. is the one that like bullies me more than anybody else. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. She, then she she chose that category. Man. She actually she actually messaged me on Discord and told me to put that in there. She went to a work event and she asked one of my coworkers how like because I had just started there how I'm doing. This was a while ago, and they're like, "Oh, she's great." And she's like, "Is she being too snarky at work? You can tell me." <laughs> my coworker later was like, "So your mom?" Uh, <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was like, "Thanks a lot, mom." <laughs> Alan, don't forget to clear the buzzer, by the way. Thank you. I think that was a low-key flex on making sure that I saw that you were the one who got the last question right. It wasn't. I just wanted to get in because Leanna's done such a good job of reminding you. I just wanted to make sure I snuck in there and got it clear, you know? Leanna, I am very excited about our Song of Ice and Fire read-along. Me too. Then I'll get questions like the one you just got right, right? Yeah. Crevasse. I would buy a crevasse board. Does anyone? I bet Etsy. Somebody's on Etsy probably. I mean, I know they sell tack boards, so those same people might sell. Actually, a good point. Uh, Both the King Killer game and A Song of Ice and Fire. I should have just said, "What is budget chess?" 
How dare and you? I would have been right. How dare you? Would you? Not. Alan would not have accepted it. Tell me, Alan, you would not have accepted that. He wouldn't have. No, which is why I didn't do it. But <laughs> they are, they are a bunch of jazz. Like, I mean, it's true. Like the authors did not create a game better than chess, but it's yeah, clearly chess. It's always it's always a chess thing. Isn't there a real um, time book for you to read or something? No, I'm reading Marcus. War, although I'm Marcus, on page zero. don't think I haven't thought of that. I have a paltry three days to get out the August wrap up. I haven't filmed it yet. I mean, I don't, I don't know why you're stressed about that when we haven't done our July TBR swap chat Wait, we, yet. Leanna, I'm trying to be nice to you, and you're being hostile. Like, I have been nice this whole time. <laughs> I know, and now, and I, I, and I waved the olive branch, and you said, "Yes, my plan has come to fruition," and now you hit the trigger. Leanna, Thanks, Kay. Leanna, Leanna, I would, I, I cannot wait until we do our TBR chat so we can reasonably discuss. <laughs> I feel like I need to reread all of the books. An <laughs> even so and an even volume where we can discuss reasonably, like two people who are not easily worked up, about our thoughts on our respective TBR swaps. I would like to place a wager that Alan is twice as loud as Liana on average for that TBR. <laughs> the wager so. should be how long before I get worked up. Because I'll try, but uh, eventually, eventually I'm going to 34 like, seconds. What? That's the over-under. All right, here we go. Oh. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Guys, no. I have I've, I've <laughs> I have another experimental category like Red Rising Classifieds in this. Oh, one. boy. And I'm excited. I am excited for it. So here we go, guys. Here we go. There are two daily doubles on the board in these categories. Leanna, you are behind currently, so you will choose first from these these categories. Here we go. Klaus, that's a good idea. I'll talk to you afterwards. The categories are Abercrombie according to Allen. So allow me to describe this category for you. The answer will be an Abercrombie book. I have read no Abercrombie. The only characters I know are Logan and Glockta. They are in all of my predictions on what the books are about, even if they're not in the book. Please understand. <laughs> If Logan and Glockta aren't in that book, I don't know that. They are the only characters I know. I am going to describe it as if it were a sitcom, and oh, you have no. to figure out which Abercrombie book I'm talking about, okay? Logan and Glockta go on a summer fling. This sure. round, that's the category to hurt me. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. Don't get confused because, oh, Logan and Glockta aren't in that book. Doesn't matter. I don't know any other characters. Doesn't so it's matter. just the title of an Abercrombie book. Correct. That's is the it. answer, yeah. Okay, okay, that's fine. That will that's be fine. one of the answers. So you have okay. like a one in ten chance or whatever. Does this, wait, is it only first law books or all Abercrombie books? It could be all of them, actually. So it's like it's one in 13. The, the fact that and he then, said one in 10 makes me think it's all first law books. I for, like, I forget how many he wrote. Let's do this. All right. Abercrombie, according to Alan, perhaps yes. the ultimate fan favorite. I so suck perhaps at that, but it's so good. It's kind of like alternate titles, but I give you a an alternate situation that is related to a title. You'll see. One of my favorite questions I wrote is in this one. Who am I? Who am I is an interesting category. Who am I? I'm going to give you two actors who played the same role. So I'm going to give in, in, in the movie version of this character. So I'm going to give you both actors' names and the author of the book you tell me what character These they These are to be so obscure if you're giving us that many clues. Hmm. I will give you the name of both actors and the author, and you will tell me what character they played. Not the you're book. Ben Barnes. The character. Um, then we have A Song of Ice and Fire C-listers. Oh, Jimmy's <laughs> getting all those. Can we just give those points to Jimmy and not have that category? Like initialisms, 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 and then finally crossword clues C. What is initialisms? initialisms? You'll see. In, Wait, um, you explained the other one. I, I only explain it if I think there's a chance you'll screw it up. That means he I has a he lot of faith in it. My ability to screw things yeah. up. Crossword clues C. Every response will begin with a letter C. And I tell you how many letters it is at the beginning. If you That's say fine. something that doesn't start with C, you are not right. All right. Wait, so I want to know what initialism. I'm so nervous that I'll get one of the A Song of Ice and Fire. I'm, I'm really stoked know. to see you get one of those. Right? Yeah, 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 I'll deserve it to be honest. I mean, obviously Abercrombie for 400. Yes. Okay. Remember, you're looking for a title that my I've only seen the titles, so I. This is my prediction on what this book is about. Here we go. 
Glockta goes on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and is cursed by Logan watching at home because he has to use his Ask the Audience lifeline on the first question, which is supposed to be a gimme. He gets it right, though. Can you say that again? I can. Yeah. Glockta goes on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and is cursed by Logan watching at home because Glockta has to use Jimmy Nuts. What is the wisdom of crowds? That's correct. Ask the audience the wisdom of crowds. Not, not, not. <laughs> I was waiting for him to finish reading it the second time, and I was like, I think it's that. And then, no, if I've read it once, you can buzz in. I went through well, all I 10 know. in my head and then got to right, Jimmy. one. I was like, okay, uh, let's do a song of ice and fire C listers for 400. Let's just get me missing one out of the way so I can be flamed for it. Here we go. This old man has the biggest overreaction since the Trojan War over his daughter's breakup. Jimmy Nuts. Who is Walter Frey? Walter Frey is correct. I feel like these oh. categories, I'm not going to do well for these as the first ones. We'll see. Uh, let's do a Song of Ice and Fire uh, seed listers for 800. Let's just keep running the board. All right, Jimmy. Jimmy, new life breathed into Jimmy. Making Let's a, go. Making a face turn. Here I we go. slammed my coffee. I feel good. Here we go. If she wasn't afraid of heights before, by the end of her story, this former Tully, um, who envied her sister, spoiled her son, and was manipulated by a narcissist, certainly was. Leanna. Who is Liza? That is correct. Ah! You scooped Jimmy nuts. Nice job, <laughs> Leanna. <laughs> Keeping a PG thirteen. I mean, geez. That's right. It's a family show. It's yeah, family, family show. show. Ah, damn it. All right. All right. I get to pick uh, Abercrombie for eight hundred. Yes. One of my favorites is in here too. I think it's I actually like it's less helpful to have read the books for this category. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Here we go. All right. All right. Now again, I've never read them. This is what I think this book is about. Logan and Glockta. <laughs> You all right, Jimmy? Yeah. Logan and Glockta attend a council meeting that escalates as Henry VIII, Richard III, and Charles V, uh, while agreeing on everything else, cannot decide on who has the longest contiguous road in their Settlers of Catan game. They fight all night, and as the sun rises on the land, it sets on their friendship. Jimmy Nuts. What is the last argument of kings? That's correct. I was the last to buzz in again. How are y'all so fast? You beat me. They got skills. What? You got it, Jimmy. What do you mean? I, was gonna no, say, I, meant, I, I meant the last question she beat. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, you literally just answered this, sir. <laughs> yeah, that would be <laughs> that would be very arrogant of me. <laughs> All right. C-listers uh, for, of what course. do we have, 1,200? All right. Yeah. Leanna, you stopped her from the run, though, and that's what matters. <laughs> All right. This youngest Stark is less memorable than his aptly named direwolf, Shaggy Dog. Uh, Jimmy Nuts. Who is Rickon? Stupid Rickon. Poor Rickon did. He's off with some unicorns. He does nothing. <laughs> That's true. I first with unicorns. We're just, just gonna go ahead and yeah. Right. We're just gonna run the boards. It's go 1600. One of the many hands of the king. This martial named head of House Tyrell is fiercely protective of his daughter while still using her as a political pawn. Oh, uh. No. Jake. What am I talking about? Why did I do that? Um, oh, no, Jake. I hit the buzzer and I didn't mean to hit the buzzer. Oh no, Jake. Shit, I forget his name. It's Oh no. It's not house. I, I actually boop, boop, boop. I'm sorry. Sorry, that's incorrect. I actually can't remember. I, I, I actually can't remember it right now. Which is Can really you read bad. the question again? Sorry, anybody he didn't buzz in. Can you read the question again? I can. I oh, no. I didn't think it was going to go. One of the many hands of the king, this martially named head of House Tyrell, is fiercely protective of his daughter while still using her as a political pawn. Damn Tyrells. They're less memorable than the others. Yeah, that's why they're I literally know all the other Tyrells, and I can't think of his boop, name boop, right boop. now. The answer is Mace. Mace. Literally, Mace. right before you said it, I was like, Mace. Mace I was thinking M, and I thought Mainerly, but that's House Last one, Jimmy? Yeah, let's do it. All right. I the forgotten one. Lannister relative with the generic name who serves eventually as regent for his grandnephew. Uh, who is Kevin Lannister? 
freaking Kevin. It's Kevon. Okay. It's <laughs> Kevin. I needed that. It is Kevin. <laughs> I needed this that. I just nice. lost 1,200 points, Jimmy. Don't call it a comeback. Jake's been here for years. Nice job. Nice job. Man, yeah. people are really being really uh, disappointed in me for missing. Uh, don't mates. listen. Don't listen to those rude. Now you know how it feels. Is yeah. there your review? Oh yeah, it's me. Um, let's go. Perhaps 400. Yes. All right, here we go, guys. Listen up. Listen up. This is related to a book title. What's the book title? Perhaps being soon parted from his money was his destiny. Perhaps being soon parted from his money was his destiny. It's a good one. I was proud of this one. Perhaps being soon parted from his money was his destiny. Chat, do y'all know it? Someone's got to get it. Don't, I mean, don't say it, but tell me if you know it. Boop, boop, boop. Who and his money are soon parted? A lot of people. A fool. The fool's fate. Fool's fate. That's fool's okay. fate. Wow. Okay. Uh, I don't fool's mm. fate. Oh, that, that, that one hurts worse that's than a, the Song of Ice and Fire ones, actually. Bit fool's of a fate. stretch to right. say that's fool, but okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Everyone knows the aphorism, a fool and his money are soon parted, except y'all. I actually didn't know that one. I didn't know that. Perhaps for 800. All right. Well, you know what? Give myself one of those. Chat like it. No one else will. Maybe it was a bit of a stretch. That's so rude. Here we go. Maybe another one. All right. The Romans pass a law enacting the quiet game on a massive scale, perhaps. The Romans pass a law enacting the quiet game on a massive scale. Perhaps. Jake, what is Empire of Silence? That is correct. Empire uh, that's of a good Silence. That good. That's, I like that Empire one. I kept thinking Silence of the Lambs. I'm like, that's certainly not it, obviously. That was the most tentatively I've ever pressed the space bar. Right. I was like, I maybe? <laughs> Here we go. All right. Um, Hillary. Hillary. Hillary, that was a good one. That was a good one, Hillary. <laughs> no, I can't read your. You well, anyways, we're continuing with perhaps because they're right. fun. Twelve hundred. Here we go. Are they though? <laughs> they're, they're fun when you're not the, the contestant. So I imagine the audience. Group of contestants. I imagine the audience is having fun with it, and that's what matters. All right, here we go. Zeus twists his ankle and has doctor's orders to stay off it for six weeks, perhaps. <laughs> what? Jimmy. What is the crippled god? That is the crippled, oh. the crippled god. So stupid. That was a dumb one. <laughs> I was, if you, no one buzzed in, I was gonna guess that. I didn't. I didn't like that one. I didn't I, like that one. I thought we it like was, it you can get it. <laughs> it's loose. But I'll right. take it. Abercrombie for two thousand. Abercrombie for two. All right. Let's go. Oh my goodness! I apologize in advance, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so sorry, Abercrombie fans. I'm sorry. Here we go. In a touching, in a touching tribute to historical fiction author Bernard Cornwell, Logan and Glockta bid a <laughs> tearful goodbye to the storied Napoleonic war hero as they read the very last book in the series. Jimmy? Before they are hanged? Sorry, that's incorrect. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I'll read it again. I just lost 2,000 points. In. I'll read it. Oh, Leanna. Sharp ends. What is sharp ends? Uh, neither, oh, neither of them said what is, for the record. <laughs> what is sharp ends? Folks, I'm finished. I just lost 2,000. No, I sharp, lost 1,200 earlier. You'll be fine. And sharp more than me. ends. <sighs> I'm pretty sure you're beating me. I'm I think. so sorry. So. Sharp ends is so It is still incredibly close, but Leanna, with that, you have actually surged into the lead. But very close. It's I'm still not competitive, though. Guys, this is still incredibly <laughs> close. Can we get a score check? Or? Yeah. Okay, so the score is currently... Leanna, 5,400. Jimmy, 5,000. Jake, 46. Here all we right. go. Sounds and all the daily Jake. doubles are still left. It's a close game, guys. Oh, Jesus. As long as I beat Jake. All right. What, what even are the other guys? Wait, so there's Amber perhaps. Who? Uh, what was Who Am I again? How does that it's work? Like you give the... two actors that play the same role. So you, And then we named and the character that they the played. Character, correct. Oh, let's do that for 400. Okay. Now, remember, you're looking for the character. Please don't tell me what book it is. I want to know the character from the book. I'm going to tell you both actors and the author. Both actors and the author in case you suck at actors. Here we go. 
I, I do suck at actors. Me too. I Ian Holm and Martin Freeman, Tolkien. Leanna. Who is Bilbo? Bilbo's correct. Hmm. Bilbo's correct. I'm so bad at these. Like, Leanna's going to get. Yeah, but you ran. You ran the. You ran the. 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 the no, nah, I miss. I missed two of them. Oh. Oh well. Never Let's mind. see who am I for eight hundred. Right, Dean Wilder, Johnny Depp, Roll Doll. I am uh, Leanna. Who is Willy Wonka? Good. I was going to be so sad. Are you kidding, Willy Wonka? Like. Gene Wilder's a genius. I couldn't hear you say Gene Wilder. All I heard was Johnny Depp and Roald Dahl. <laughs> I know who one of those people are. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's do Who Am I for twelve hundred. All right. Tim Curry, Bill Skarsgård, Stephen King, uh, Leanna. Who is a Pennywise? Yes. I was going to say it, but I was like, his name isn't Dr. it. Dr. Buckingham. <laughs> that might have been the only one I might have been able to get. Damn it. I might have gotten Bilbo. But... Oh, uh, I can't. Uh, the same one for 1600. Y'all don't let her run it. Don't let her run it. <laughs> I, I don't know any of these people. You do. I don't you know. I believe in you. No, you yeah. shouldn't. Your belief is misplaced. Jennifer L. Kira Knightley. Jane Austen. Leanna? Who is Lizzie Bennett? You've got to stop. I, I don't even know. I think this is a I wrap. I, yeah. I, I don't think. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I know yeah. who Jane Austen Again, is. Guys, I don't know have many categories left actors. and the Daily Devils. Don't worry. You want to close um, this out? Let's, let's round out that category, All right. please. All right. Here we go, guys. Here we I need to have my hand on the buzzer. No. <laughs> please. Jimmy, put your hand on the buzzer. Just in case. Just in case. You never know. It's 2000 right here. Here we go. Patrick Stewart. Jim Carrey. And the author is Charles Dickens. Well, hopefully Leanna doesn't know. Patrick that, so Stewart. No gets it, I'm not going Jim to. Carrey. Uh, Leanna? Um, who is Scrooge? Scrooge is correct. Yeah, okay. I was going to go for The Mask. By Charles Dickens? <laughs> is all righty then? Victorian parlance? Jimmy? All right. Good job, Leanna. You ran the category. Way to yeah. go, Leanna. Can you keep good, it up? Good effort. Can you no, I cannot. I'm just good at actors. <laughs> um, oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I want to know what initializing is for 400, please. Initialisms. Here we go, guys. Initialisms. Oh, initialisms. I had a, an actual word, initializing. Initialisms isn't a word. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is, too. Look it up. All right. Here we go. Ben Barnes stars as the titular prince of the second book in a magical series by this author uh, Leanna barely C.S. Lewis C.S. Lewis is correct oh good I would have guessed wrong <laughs> Leanna um, can, wait I'm still not understanding though what is the point of this category okay, I thought it would become out. clear okay initialisms for 800 please oh is it that it's C.S. which is an initial here we go this incredibly popular SFF author was the first author ever to win three consecutive Hugo Awards for her series about a dying planet. Uh, Jimmy Nuts. Who is N.K. Jemison? That is correct. N.K. Jemison. This season was phenomenal. It is. I, I'm going to read book two. Ooh, seconds. I wasn't last in the buzzes, though. I was second. I'm getting Give faster. Give me that C-listers for 2000. Hopefully I can redeem myself. Oh, here. crap. We did that already. Sorry. I, I should have oh. That was Kevin. That was Kevin. Yeah, I actually got that. How did you make, how did you make Kevin? That's ridiculous. Uh, let's do um, Abercrombie for whatever the highest one is that's low. I think it's 1600. Six, okay, 1600. Yeah. It looks like 1000 underneath 1200. I was like, that yeah. can't be right. <laughs> I can't read. You'd think you'd be doing worse at this than if you can't. This one's read. dumb. I'm sorry. This one's dumb. <laughs> Logan and Glockta take their YouTube vlogs on the road. In an RV trip through both Russia, stopping to assist in the October Revolution, and then through China before running afoul of Mao by telling him that the Great Leap Forward is a dumb name. Uh, Timmy Nuts. What is Red Country? That's correct. That's oh. correct. I get it now. As soon as I heard Russia, I was like, I got this. Yeah. <laughs> I actually, I kind of sounded like Red Country even for trip. I was like, I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. All right, Jimmy. Still you. 
Let's go to the next Abercrombie for twelve hundred. Guys, this is my favorite one. Oh no! I think you've already said that. No, 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 I, no. This is my favorite one. This is my favorite one. Here we go. <laughs> I don't even care. Logan and Glockta take a trip to Home Depot to purchase all the nails, frames, fixtures, and tools they will need in order to decorate the walls of their apartment with photos of their fun adventure. Oh, Leanna. What is before they are hanged? Before they are hanged. Good, before good the, question, Alan. That was good. The pictures are hanged. That's so stupid. That's a great. That's honestly great. That was your best one so far. Oh, it's so stupid. Tremendous, oh, oh. tremendous. That one was really good. You don't understand when I wrote that. I was just tickled. It, <laughs> so dumb. All right, <sighs> All right. Okay. Uh. Cross it was crossword C. Yeah, for four hundred, please. For four hundred. I don't even know what that is. Not till you, you, not... you reset us, please. Yeah, you mean it's not going to be about any fun hijinks with Logan and Glockta? <laughs> really? That makes me sad. All right, crossword clues C. Here we go, guys. Seven letters. Seven letters, and it starts with C. Here we go. Name for the shared universe of many of Brandon Sanderson's adult fantasy works. Jimmy nuts. What is the Cosmere? That is correct. Now I'm slow on the buzzer. I was fast. Jake, the, did been, that hurt? No. <laughs> yeah, I've been so... I put I down not, my I, notepad, so I'm fast now. That's, that's, what, so that's what's holding you back, Leanna. It's going to be all right, guys. The buzzer, the buzzer is a tough game. Tough crown. Uh, let's go with C for uh, 2,000. Jimmy. <laughs> Holy crap. No. So, you have 7,800. Leanna has 13,2. Jeez. I have like four, 5,000. Jake's at 46. You can wager some or all of yours in this category of crossword clues C. All right. So, I got to make sure I don't lose the Jake. That's all I care about. Um, let's see. Why so mean to Jake? I just, I don't know. <laughs> it's a rib. Uh, let's see. Um, Let's just risk it all. There is no way you're risking it all. <laughs> I think Are he is. <laughs> Are you really? Okay. He's doing it. Content. This is what I was saying. It's not Jimmy, real money. Why not? Let no one say that <laughs> Jimmy Nuts is not the bravest man ever, ever to come on uh, Jeopardy. He's had two, da two daily doubles and he's risked it all twice. Can I all get right, some Jimmy. peanuts in the chat? Here we go. Peanuts buddy. in the chat, folks. Here we go. Jimmy's wagering 7,800. Let's go. Go big or go home. Here we go. This long-suffering winter matriarch is forced to do what she can to protect her family when her too honorable husband puts them all in danger. Oh, seven letters, sorry. Seven letters starts with a C. This long-suffering winter matriarch is forced to do what she can to protect her family when her too honorable husband puts them all in danger. It was um, at this moment he how realized. Many, how many seconds do I have to answer this? I'll give you, I'll give you a second. I'll give you a second. Uh, uh, you said seven, right? Seven letters starts with a C. I'll read it one more time, and then you got to give me an answer. This He's not long, Googling something on his phone right no, now, right? I'm, doing, I'm counting. This long-suffering winter matriarch is forced to do what she can to protect her family when her too honorable husband puts them all in danger. Who is Catelyn? Jimmy. I was so afraid for you. I was so you gotta, excited for you to get that wrong. You gotta build some <laughs> tension. You oh, gotta okay. build some tension, folks. Jimmy. Okay, okay. You were, you were. I was like, Jimmy. Oh my god! I was so scared for you. I was so scared because I'm so happy. I was so like I was just gonna be so surprised if you did not get that. <laughs> oh my gosh! Holy crap! Thanks, Jimmy. You're now in the lead. Oh, but there's Jimmy. still some game left and a daily double. Holy crap. All right, Jimmy. You're, yeah, this you're board is yeah. you have the board. Well, let's let's stick with the C's for 16. Good night. All I right. like seeing all these peanuts in the chat. Nine letters. These seven mythological beings police their own legacy by destroying any knowledge pertaining to them. Something quotes parents found out to their cost. Leanna. The chan who is the chant? What are the Chandrian? Pick your pronoun finally. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the what is the it's like a, it's <laughs> that kid that's like, did you ever when you get you get the and uh in you think that why are you making fun of me? Poor Leanna. 
Uh, perhaps for sixteen hundred, please. Oh, I forgot we still have perhaps. <laughs> oh, I think this is my favorite one. This is my favorite. You, perhaps. you had so many favorites. No, 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 no. I had my favorite of the other one, and then my favorite of the perhaps one. No, it's not. The next one is my favorite. Anyway, all right. Tough guy and his best buddy works out his anger issues with karaoke therapy, perhaps. Tough guy and his best buddy works out his anger issues with karaoke therapy, perhaps. Um, I'm not proud of this one, so I'm not. I'm okay if everybody misses it. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. The answer is the song of Achilles. Okay, yeah, I was never getting I'm that. Achilles. I'm okay with it. I'm not proud of it. Never, never getting that. Here we go. Um, perhaps for 2000, please. Thank you. Oh my gosh, guys, get ready for this. Okay. I threw out a different question so that I could write this one because I had already had them and I threw one out. A celebratory occasion when playing blackjack and hitting on a hand of 18, perhaps. A celebratory occasion when playing blackjack and hitting on a hand of 18, perhaps. Um, they're coming to arrest you for that terrible question. No, this is an amazing question. When it, when it is done, this is an amazing question. I'll read it one more time because I'm so proud of it. A celebratory occasion when playing blackjack and hitting on a hand of 18, perhaps. Crowd. Yes. Yes. Mm. Boop, boop, boop. What is... The drawing of the three. Oh my god. You have 18. <laughs> okay. The if it said 19. Of the three. Yeah. By Stephen King, book yeah. two of the Dark Tower. Look, you know what? You know what? That tickled me. I remember when I was winning this before this board tough, came up. I, I saw these categories and I was just ever. like, no, I'm not winning. Oh my gosh. Pull it, guys. I'm pulling contestants from the from the other side of the tracks this time. Uh, initializing for 1200, please. All right, here we go. Initializing for 1200. Leanna, this is a very important daily double for you. Oh, God. I needed a daily double to have a chance. But what I are the scores? You have 15 8. Jimmy has 15 6. I'm Jimmy is still in it with 4 6, depending on what happens. Uh... Yeah, these are some or all. How much was this question for? It was for twelve hundred. Let's do fourteen hundred. Fourteen hundred, nice. Charmaine always wagers below what it was worth. Oh, it was two hundred. Here we go. All right, fourteen hundred. Here we go. This self-published author previously wrote YA before tying an adult standalone to the world where a single peninsula stays trapped in a society similar to sixteenth-century Japan but with cell phones, this author. Uh, who is M.L. Wang? That's correct. M.L. Wang. So we're talking. Great book. I Here's didn't know it. anything else that you said about her. It was only when I was like, oh. That's okay. <sighs> okay. Uh, initializing for 1600, please. Initializing for 16. Here we go. And I'm down 16, so this would be perfect. This author's second series takes a sharp left turn from her brutal debut series taking place in the academic classroom of Oxford dealing with uh, accidentally buzzed dealing with linguistics and colonialism wait you guys don't even know when I buzzed as fast as I could they didn't buzz Jake you're fine what is it uh who is RF Kwong that's correct that's correct oh I forgot about that other series that's coming out oh uh, fair enough nice yeah show. all right Jake this is literally like the first time I had the board for like 20 minutes. Right. Um, well, I'll go initialisms for 2000, I guess. Initialisms for two. What is this? Well, I keep calling it initializing because that's an actual word. Initialisms. How dare you? Are, okay, so acronyms are when you initialize something and you can, you can say it. Like scuba is an acronym. But stuff like the CIA, that's an initialism. You can't pronounce it. That's true. This is not what that is. Yeah. This is not what that is. But so it's a lie. You said no, it was throwing up lies. Yeah, you know what, whatever. What'd you pick, Jake? Initial uh, initialism 2000. 2000. All right. Um, here we go. This, oh, ooh, deep cut. 
This author just released her debut novel about a group of thieves plotting not only a heist, but also how to betray each other. I'll be shocked. I'll be really surprised. Um, can you read it one more time? Yeah. yeah. This author just released a debut novel about a group of thieves plotting not only a heist, but also how to betray each other. No. Um... Boop, boop, boop. Um, I see this. I only knew this because I'm on Twitter all the time. MJ Kuhn, the book is Among Thieves. You might have seen it. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't see that. Sounds okay. cool, though. <laughs> might go read that. Sounds now. interesting. All right. We have crossword clue C. Um, Jake, do you want 1200 or 800? 1200. Boom. Here we go. Crossword clue C. Eight letters. Eight letters. Eight letters. This amazing Corvine general successfully led 50,000 refugees across a hostile desert fleeing a rebel army. Jimmy Nuts. Who is Coltane. Of course it's Coltane. The chain of dogs. Let's Great go. Character. Of course it's Coltane. I really I like the chain of forgot, dogs. I was like, forgot exactly what his name is. And was. the final question. I'm the bad one. at names. Here we go. Five letters. Five letters. Indefatigable and plucky. This son of a blacksmith discovers he may indeed be a chosen one. Indefatigable. Oh, who is Corbin from uh, Corbin Faithful and the Fallen? Corbin is correct. Oh, uh, okay. I was thinking, uh, I thought we were going to go with Gendry. Gendry doesn't start with Siege. I got very well, distracted by For a second, I was like, wait, does Alan think Perrin is a chosen one from Wheel of Time? And then I was like, wait. Okay. So My brain was a Hornblower Siege. because the name of the ship in Hornblower is Indefatigable. <laughs> so the thing is, Jake, yeah. because Jimmy and Leanna are within, within like, scratching distance yeah i mean also i'm gonna bet you all are money. still in the game because the, no one no one has run away with it this is going to be exciting oh yeah i have to write down how much i'm betting so, how much money do i have wait, so what, what happens now we just go to a final Hold round on. the score is oh yeah Jimmy. <laughs> no, score is, jake has 7400 jimmy oh, has sixteen thousand eight hundred. liana has 17 2 Beating Jimmy by 400. I'm going to give you the category. You must write down on a piece of paper. I don't have paper. How much your wager is. How much money do I have against Roy? I already forgot. You have 7,400. So hang on. Um, I, I don't have a piece of paper. Then, then type it on. Type it on. Open up the notes on your phone or whatever. That's right. Oh, okay. Where's my freaking. Thing? Wait, you said I have 17,200? You have 17,200. I'm trying to find my final jeopardy. Question. What the crap is it? Oh, here it is. And, and this is this is it, right? No, you don't wager yet. I'm going to tell you what the category is. <laughs> yeah, I already I, wagered. I, the category yeah. is original titles. Original titles. Original, original titles. titles. So you wager how much you think, how much you want to wager, and then you can't change the wager. And you're gonna, you're all gonna write down the answer to this. And this question. is the final thing, right? This, this is, is this is a wrap. Winner take all. So, How original titles, you can wager some or all or none no, of it. Klaus. I will and then not. You remember, you cannot change your wager. You you don't say your response. You just write it down, and then we we reveal it one at a time. All right, guys. So here is the question. Here is the question. You got your wager, Jimmy? Uh, yeah, I did all some right. math. Here's the wager, or here's the question. Just before its publication in 1897, its title was changed from The Undead to this. Write your response. Fear again? Can we get oh, that? Like, dang it. Yeah. Just right. before its publication in 1897, its title was changed from The Undead to this. Write your response. Do, 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 do. All right, pencils down. Pencils down. Jake, you are first. 
I want to preface this with I had no idea. I was like, is this like the vampire book? I wrote Dracula. It's Dracula's right. correct. Oh, and I, I bet $7,400. I bet all my money. Jake, that puts you at 14.8. I literally wrote stupid answers. We're going to Jimmy. Did you put Dracula? All of it, let's go nuts. Like and subscribe, please. I'm sorry, like and subscribe, please, is not the answer. How much did you bet? All of it. goes to zero. I beat Luna, Jimmy. Did you put Dracula? Yes, I did. And how much did you wager? Uh, 200. <laughs> Close game. Close game, ladies and gentlemen. Leanna squeaked out a victory here on Book Jeopardy. <sighs> squeaked out. Excuse you. Leanna, judging from that first round, it's a squeaked out. It's squeaked <laughs> out, judging from that first round. Literally, you won by the actor category. Like I, I really did. If that category good. was any other category. Jake and Jimmy. I'm just relieved that Klaus we, isn't going to break my legs now. I didn't we know can do who all has. these categories. We can count all the points. But I'm still the people's champ. <laughs> I mean, I think we can acknowledge that Jimmy is the people's champ. Thank guys, you. thank you guys so much. You guys in the audience, thank you so much. This is always so much fun with you guys right. watching. And this was, the, this was the rowdiest group of contestants with the rowdiest fan base that we've seen thus far. Yes, Leanna, you're right. Leanna, congratulations. That, what would Baez say about you being the people's champ, though? What would he say? I don't care what Baez has to say. <laughs> if you are not subscribed to all these wonderful people, please mm -hmm. do. Leanna will be um, going to the champion game in December. Uh, we will see who her two um, con competitors will be with the next two games in both October and uh, November. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, give it up for our wonderful contestants uh, who just... Uh, and remember, Klaus said whoever won the again. first round would win, so was partially wrong. Klaus's That's prediction. really important. Incorrect. Incorrect. He was partially correct. He said oh, Lana would win. You're right. He did say Lana was He's half Sorry, correct. Forgive me. Forgive me the hand. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. Have a great uh, rest, of your, uh, rest of your Sunday. And uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Love you. Know. You guys hang tight.